Yeah, good morning, Michael, and uh, hello, Anton. Yeah, I started directly with a uh, demo. I thought that was a good idea. Um, one we did already last week, I guess. Um, can you hear me? <laughs> I'm just un unsure because I don't hear my voice. Okay. Hmm, sound is echoing. Interesting. My sound is echoing or the sound of the C64 is echoing? So, um, that was just the intro. Um, how do we go on? I thought perhaps uh, we take a look at how to start the whole thing. So we will uh, cut over. Um, this is uh, the HDMI output. So we will now cut over to the uh, F. My voice is echoing. Okay, let me see. Hello, hello, hello. Hmm. Might be my room. Um, so we cut over now to the VGA, which is stretched because I still have the uh, bad converter running and then get some Mega 65 into the picture. Um, so what we do now is we switch it off and switch it back on and hold no scroll because one question was, uh, is it possible to flash the C64 core? Yeah, obviously it is possible. So this is the latest core from today. And um, I choose it. And now I switch back to HDMI because then we don't have the stretch picture. And this is how it looks. Um, we get the pop-up uh, welcome screen, which tells us that help is our key to get the menu. And yeah, then the create new feature, we press the help key. Ah, looks a bit different than the last time. And now we can actually choose mount. And then we can select, uh, oh, I, I, did uh, remove my keyboard so you can see that I'm really typing on the Mega 65. So then you can select an image. Um, we take this one, we are all connected. And then we load it. This is normal load speed 1541, no Jiffy DOS or anything. So it may take a while. In the meantime, um, new setup, um, a bit less uh, stretched because I did get the camera a bit far further away from the um, keyboard. Yeah, and perhaps I stop talking now and start the demo. This was chosen by um, Sai2002, the, the one of the developers of the C64 core.
Okay, we need to flip the disc and uh, this time we can also use the menu. Get the thing gun, gun, and then it goes on.
Hi, Taggers. Hi, LGB. Hi, everyone else. I did not welcome yet. So, what do we now? Um, what do we do now? Perhaps I get in the keyboard again. And then we do. Perhaps we do a game. Um, which was the one? So this one also was a suggestion by uh, Sai2002. Relentless. I don't know if you know it. It's uh, a quite a new game, I think. Now I need my trusty Competition Pro to die properly, proper, properly, <laughs> and then I get away with the keyboard, I think. Okay. Still loading. still have a cable problem here a cable um, routing problem i would call it so i can't remember how long it took to load but it didn't definitely worked okay there it is okay 2019 not that new oh, down with the volume of the C64. This would be like this. And then you hear more of my talking and less of the sound. Don't know if, if this is better, but uh, would be uh, an interesting thing to know for the future, I think. So I could make me uh, some uh, preset for um, yeah, which sound levels I should use for a stream where we will hear both the sound of the uh, Mega and the sound of me. I don't know, uh, me talking is uh, a thing that is good. Because uh, if I talk unscripted, it's my 
might be ah, not dead. God, ah. died again. Um, so sorry, my screensaver on the PC got on. So now I can see the chat again. Um, yeah, perhaps uh, as a short uh, demo of a game, this is enough. Um, we can look again at the keyboard. So if I now press the reset button, the C64 should go back in the normal mode, essentially. And yeah, then we can look at something else, perhaps another demo. So I had one on the list. Uh, let me look it up. Mm, what was it? Uh, courtesy of the Soviet. Right, okay. Then we bring up the mount menu. So it's, uh, that would be a good question. What sit we take? Ah, so the second one, Radio Napalm, actually uh, only the video is taken with a 8580 sit. Uh, I don't know. We will see. We take the Soviet video. Don't know if, if this is good in the current time, but yeah, <laughs> we will see. So we start with the 8580, perhaps. So loading times again. Looking forward to uh, um, um, yeah fast load support <laughs> in the next version. Now I don't know <laughs> what the next step is. I, I think uh, the menu is already uh, such a big improvement because uh, you don't need to have a serial controller running. So essentially, this is uh, this cable here. This is the FTTI uh, programmer with uh, which I, ca I can program the FPGA, um, but which also has a serial console, which is used by the kernel. So um, I can open some terminal like putty and then I get a text-based console. And this was the way to mount uh, disk images in the um, yeah, in the, uh, in the in the course uh, of last week and over the past week, uh, Sci 2002 did all this magic and programmed the QNICE assembly code to make the file selection work. So let me get the sound back up again. But there is no sound yet, as far as I can see. Here, I mean. Oh, 
not seeing the disk swap because it's not swapping uh, uh, continuing I mean so I was in parallel looking for um, demos which show the difference between the two sits but uh, did not find anything uh, in the meantime so we just go to the next demo, which is um, the Radio Napalm one. Resetting again. So, ah, sehr, wonderful. The <laughs> so you can see now uh, one of the few bugs, which is uh, still there. This one affects only HDMI. So if I switch to uh, VGA, you can see this is fine, uh, but there's uh, some reset problem, which makes the HDMI a little bit shifted to the right and sometimes green, um, sometimes other colors. Um, and uh, yeah, it will be fixed. They are on it, um, one of the 
um, fastest ways to get rid of it is is just uh, putting the core back or, or the bitstream back into the FPGA, which means uh, switching it off and on again and uh, booting uh, new or as I just did, uh, loading the bitstream via the FTDI interface. So then we go on. Uh, ah, wonderful, Anton. Uh, perhaps we can put it in. I planned to make the stream about an hour because too long is also not good. And so we can do other, so something like this again next week or something or when the next cool features are in um uh, so what was the demo something with r uh, radio napalm Oh, you're right, Michael. It could have been uh, not auto detection. I think I remember I pressed space as I tried it out because I got, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I think you're right. It might be space, but well, we can do it next time again, perhaps. So, ah, <laughs> YouTube is again complaining because the bitrate is just uh, 300 kilobit, which is way too low, but uh, there's only cursor blinking. So uh, where should the bitrate come from? Um, then I think we give it some more bitrate.
So, is this the end? I don't know. Or is this again a black screen? But there's no counter now. So, perhaps it's the end. Okay. Ah, again. It's, it does not happen all the time. So, what do we ne do next? Um, ah, this is perhaps also interesting. Uh, the core automatically starts in a directory C64, if there is a directory C64. So as you can see in the top level directory, I have all my uh, Mega 65 stuff. And in the C64 subfolder, there's the C64 stuff. And uh, as this is selected automatically as the root, uh, or at the, as not as the root, as the start folder, um, you are directly at the right place for the C64 core. Um, so next demo. Um, did someone write something? Cauldron, yeah, okay, I can do, do that. Um, so, Cauldron with which sit? Oh no. I mistyped. Ah. Okay. Typing blind. Bad. Uh, for, uh, if you are used to the PC keyboard, some keys are not in quite the right place. <laughs> so, Cauldron. Yeah, which uh, sit for the Cauldron? I have still time to choose. Do we choose the newer and cleaner 858? zero or do we take the original for cauldron hmm, i'm not sure the game is quite old but the demo hmm. don't know if i should show you again a bit mega 65 you can see the cables and the Backside, HDMI, VGA. Ah, that's, there's the sound. So the sound currently comes over the uh, 3.5 millimeter plug because um, my Artem does not like the sound that comes out of the HDMI, but there is sound coming out of the HDMI. Also one of the small problems uh, still being worked on, but there is also, um, in the works the uh, audio pipeline in the uh, QNI CPU. So this is essentially which the, what the mister does um, with the arm to um, yeah filter the sound in different ways. And this will also be added. So perhaps then the sound will work better. Let's start the demo.
Beer support. This is very important, folks. Beer support is really a thing. We need it. Everyone needs it. So, I guess that's the end. Does it reset or does it not? Or is there a hidden message? Ah, it starts again. I guess. Yes, it's a loop, right? Okay. Then... Ah, this time, reset worked. So, um, menu. What do we do now? So you can see after the reset, it switches currently back to the 6581. I guess this could also be a configuration option in some, some way, don't know. And here you can choose uh, with which frequency the 1080p, no, ah, I, I did say 1080p, it's wrong. It's uh, 720p, obviously, and uh, you can choose if it's uh, 50 hertz or 60 hertz. And with 50 hertz and a monitor that can do it, um, it's a really smooth picture. Also with side scrolling effects. So, time for another demo. One last one, because we have nearly an hour. Um, any ideas? Scream if you see something on the screen that you would like to look at. And by scream, I obviously mean uh, type it into the chat. Anything? So we could end with a nice um, I don't know. So did we, did I choose the wrong connective? Oh, perhaps I did not use the, so I, I did put connect, we are connected with uh, the long file name. So you can see, yes, it can do long file names. And uh, let's do this. I don't know. Perhaps also with the newer set. If this was the connected I played earlier. If I just put it two times into my demo folder, one, one time with the short names and one time with the long names, let's see. Or perhaps one of you can tell me. Yeah, I think we did do it, right? But I hey, let it play a bit.
I think I'm quicker that way and then I put it on the drive um, limits um, okay And we put it back in. Well, obviously, we get the Mega 65 if we don't do anything. So uh, again, quick pushing of the bitstream, switching back to HDMI, and. New limits. I hope the image works. I just cobbled up in a few seconds. Um, and perhaps also the new SIF, right? So it seems to load. That's good. And here we go. seem to do anything more. Is this the right new limits? I don't know, but um, the hour I planned is over. We did see a lot. We did see the new feature with the uh, disc mounting, which is really nice. And uh, sit switching, obviously. And the green screen, so we don't have a blue screen, because the C64 is blue anyway, so this is the green screen. Um, but uh, I'm sure uh, Sai and 
um, Jurgens will get rid of it soon. And yeah, I think we can do this again. Uh, if you have su suggestion, suggestions, perhaps uh, for a demo which um, can really show the difference between the sits, that would be interesting, I guess. Um, but keep in mind, this is uh, a Mister uh, Core, so uh, it will sound essentially like it sounds on the Mister. So if the demo does not show differences on the Mister, it won't do here, I guess. Yeah, and perhaps we do one next week. I don't know. Perhaps in two weeks. Depends on how the development goes. But uh, the plan is to keep everyone updated about uh, the progress. Ah, the rasters. Okay, I, I keep the chat in my eyes. Uh, not like uh, the other times I did the live streams. Okay, I'm, well, I was talking about uh, yeah, the outro, essentially. So, um, to keep yourself posted, uh, be on uh, the Mega65 Discord, we will post there if something new happens and uh, questions can be asked there too, for sure. And yeah, perhaps next week um, I have planned uh, another uh, tutorial video of sorts, so um, continuing the Mandelbrot Explorer 65 series. Well, I don't know if I can, uh, can call it a series yet because it's essentially only one video. And uh, uh, last uh, week, as I did the um, Mega, uh, the Mister to Mega 65 uh, explained video, I saw that I uh, promised to do a full color uh, graphics boat. Um, yeah video um, and this was uh, essentially over three months ago so yeah it's uh, due to make this I guess and yeah I think next week could be the time it comes out yeah have a nice day evening or whatever time of day you have there where you are and until next time bye